Good morning. I just finished getting ready. I showered. I woke up early. I put my sheets to wash and I'm about to make myself some breakfast so that then I can just get to cleaning. I wanted to do like a little reset for the new year. I think this is great because with a clean space comes a clear mind and that is definitely what I need. And also I want to make it like a thing. I want to always keep my space clean and that's something that I'm working on, which is okay. But I want to start this new year fresh, clean and just like, you know, like from zero basically. It's a new year. I want to feel good and i want to do good so why not like deep clean my whole house and treat myself a little it's 805 i woke up at 7 i don't know how it's 8 already and like i said i'm just gonna make myself breakfast and then start cleaning i was going to put on a little makeup but girl who got the time and who got the energy I don't know if I want to take my Christmas decoration down because I've only had it up for like a week. It's 8.42. We're going to clean and just do a little sun because I low-key have a mess. What's new though? But it's okay. We're going to change that this new year, okay? <laughs> So we're taking a little lunch break because it's 12.36 and I'm hungry. I am hungry. And all I have left really is my bedroom and I'm done. And I'm so proud of myself. Like this is the earliest I've finished cleaning and everything. I called my mans because he makes like ramen. <laughs> and um, I don't know how to make it. So we're about to make that. because it was like quick but tell me why that felt like an eternity but anyways my ramen's ready i'm about to eat it and then continue cleaning i don't know how my man found how to do this but when i tell you guys this tastes so good yeah we know it's unhealthy but it tastes so good i promise y'all i just wish i put more onions in it. it tastes good but it just does not taste like my boyfriend's like I don't know what I did wrong. I just got done eating. I'm putting everything that I used away. Bessie's like, I literally, I want to know what are y'all's 2024 goals. Um, I have a lot of them. I'm not going to lie to you. I did a little vision board. Did you guys do any vision boards? Like 2024 vision boards? I did two. I did a 2024 vision board. I'll show you guys. I also did a um, January vision board. So yeah, I did that. I used to do that when I lived in Jersey. And I feel like it helped me accomplish a lot of my goals. Like it's kind of like manifesting. I really enjoy doing that. And I want to get back into the habit of doing so some of my yearly goals are 
to stick to a plan so just be consistent with whatever it is that i want to do because i start things and then i leave them like halfway or just give up throughout the journey i guess you could say so i've never really fully stuck to anything i want to work on my time management as well my time management is so bad i've been struggling with this since i was in school here i am i'm 23 and i'm still struggling with that like i don't know why it's just so hard for me I want to also um get up earlier so i want to start getting up from 5 to 6 in the morning so that I can have time to do whatever it is that I have to do because I don't know why but I feel like when I wake up at like 8 even though that's kind of early I don't feel like I have enough time throughout my day and I want to start journaling and reading again so with waking up early like that I can just do those two things and then go to the gym because that's another thing started the gym back in summer I just want to stick to it this year and see like how much my body's gonna change I'll show you guys what I did this is the one I did for the year and then this is the one I did for January so those are my vision boards. Those are just some of the things that I have for my 2024. I don't know. There are a lot of things that I want to work on. I stick to it and I just push through because I feel like a lot of good things can come from the things that I want to do. Anyways, your 2024 goals. And if you don't have 2024 goals, because I feel like that's pretty, you know, broad. Um, what are your January goals? Because I don't know. I just love hearing everybody's goals. And that's part of the reason why I also wanted to do this video because like if you haven't made a vision board, like girl what are you doing do your vision board it's just great to see and that's like a form of manifesting you want to manifest your dreams no so do it um so if you haven't done that girl get on your shit apart from that i would i just really wanted to reset and like start the new year fresh because decluttering the environment that you're in can have a powerful impact on your mental i know that when i do not clean and my stuff is just messy i'm all over the place like i cannot function like i feel like how my apartment looks i don't want to do anything i feel super sluggish like get in this like depressing mood i haven't done that either girl like you have time just start off this new year declutter organize clean do your laundry and I feel like i just talked a lot but i really just wanted to get that off my chest I'm done cleaning finally it's time to do some self-care girlies we have to prioritize our self-care simply because it's essential for our overall well-being so why not give yourself that little extra look i'm gonna oil my scalp and do a hair mask these are the two products that i will be using today for my hair it's this emergence yeah it, this is dominican um i got this from dr of course it's an intense moisture split ends treatment and this is the miel rosemary mint scalp and hair strengthening strengthening oil I have a hair appointment on Friday and I'm so excited because my hair is I don't know if you guys can tell but she's dark here and then she's like brown here and it's because I bleached my hair and then I dyed it black my natural hair color is like a dark brown but then I dyed it black and the black is kind of fading off off of like the bottom half which is what is bleached like this is new growth you know so this is like my natural hair color basically looks black so this is like the bleached hair and oh, it's so damaged i'm getting my ends cut finally as well and i'm getting it re-dyed so i'm excited for that because girl it's just been it's just been too long to be honest it's really just been too long last time i dyed my hair 
and cut it with July. I think I want to do a face mask. I'm still not sure. Then later do some skincare and... But I'm kind of waiting because, you guys, it's only 4 o'clock. <laughs> like, I'm on a roll. I'm so proud of myself. Oh, so that's the plan as of right now. I think I should probably make dinner for this four. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Playing Vice Versa by Rao Alejandro from Apple Music. I will not be staying home tonight. My friend texted me and I'm spending Year's Eve with her. I did meal prep, I need to shower, but I wanted to show you guys that I got a new belly ring because the little stud off my top part came off and I kind of wanted to change it. I got this off of Amazon, by the way. Look at there. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I don't know, I don't know how I feel. I don't know if I like it. But yeah, like I said, I'm gonna spend New Year's with my friends, so I'm a, I still have to get ready. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's not entirely what I wanted it to be, but remember, even though I'm gonna post this tomorrow, like you still have time to start fresh. You can do that anytime this week, truly. So clean your space, wash if you have to wash, do some self-care, and just relax. Don't forget to do your vision board and just plan out your month. It'll make your life so much easier. I promise you. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys sometime this week because one of my goals is to be consistent on YouTube. So I'll see y'all. I'll see y'all sometime this week. Bye.